In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus says to his first apostles, All authority in heaven and on earth have been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. In the 21st century, that responsibility falls to us to share the gospel, to bring people into the sacramental life of the church and experience the presence of Jesus Christ in their everyday lives. But who are these people that we are to engage, to form, to witness, and walk with more deeply into a relationship with Jesus Christ? When we began the preparation of the pastoral plan many years ago, one of the things that was very strongly emphasized in the consultation that was undertaken was the importance of youth. We need to reach out to young people. That theme appeared again and again. And so it very much influences the whole of the pastoral plan. The mission entrusted to the OCY by the Cardinal Archbishop of Toronto was to build up and strengthen youth ministry at the parish level. To do this most effectively is to hire staff, to hire a youth minister at the parish, to focus on building efforts to bring in teens and tweens so that they can encounter Jesus Christ and live a life in the church. Making disciples of all nations would and could have sounded daunting. Yet 2,000 years later, we see the fruit and the obvious results of that instruction to form followers of Jesus Christ. Youth ministry is vital for every single parish. Uh, youth ministry, I think, is the lifeblood of uh, parish life. They are our future. We need to invest in them. And uh, what we see now more than ever is our, our youth and our teens especially are, are not having the joy in their life. Not only do we love them, right? but we share our faith with them and we start off with relationship first. And that's what Christ did. The gospel is connecting to the deepest longing of the human heart. And so by connecting with them, we're bringing them the gospel and we're allowing them to experience Christ. In a culture where they're just so abandoned and longing for meaningful relationships, the church has an opportunity to respond to that. They have gifts that can really impact parish life in such a profound way that when activated and encouraged, it can change the whole trajectory of what they do for the church and what they do in their lives. When uh, we don't reach out to them, you're only putting off their discipleship for when you feel like they should be disciples. If they are not seeing this from the adults, we're only teaching them that the norm for being a parish disciple, to be a missionary, to be a follower of Christ, is just to revert to our own spiritual introversion, and that is not what the gospel is at all. Many parishes have begun the youth ministry journey with young people as young as 11 years old to work with their openness to embrace a relationship with Jesus Christ. Not having a youth ministry uh, is kind of hard. Uh, I wouldn't know as much as I do about my faith. Uh, I wouldn't learn as much. Probably would, wouldn't, I'd probably be my same old self, not praying following a crooked path instead of God's path for me. And youth ministry helped me to pave that way. If I didn't have it, then I really wouldn't know where to go. If I didn't have edge in my life, I would probably feel lost. Like I feel safe because at school, I don't really feel safe about talking about myself. If you have problems, maybe you can express them here and no one will judge you. Being an editor, it's not just being in a community of people, it's a community of friends and family. I grew up with youth ministry at my parish. Like our parish has youth ministry for 40 years. So for me, it was just a part of just growing up in the church. I was an edger for our very first edge year. And I am a living, breathing example of what youth ministry can do because I had 
no faith life. If you have a good foundation in your faith while you're young, while you're learning about yourself, those people then stay with the church their whole lives. Today's youth culture is filled with media noise, relativistic morality, and ultimately promotes a self-serving identity. Yet we know that every human heart, particularly our young people, yearns for something more. I've been here for seven years now in youth ministry, and it was a, a slow journey of getting from seeing what God did in other people's hearts. Like I saw my core leaders, I saw my youth minister, and they were so in love with the Holy Spirit. And I was like, there's, there, you, can, like you can visually tell that there's something that has changed their lives that I wanted to get there. And I spent these last seven years figuring out what ignited in their heart to have that love for the Holy Spirit. Today's culture requires us to be more creative in how we bring young people to the life of the church. But does having an active and engaging youth ministry experience at a parish help young people identify themselves as disciples of Jesus Christ? Ministry to me is so important because like with it, I've been able to truly encounter God in the Eucharist. Well, I've met some of my like best friends and it's through these youth ministry programs and it, like each and every one of them have helped me grow in my faith. If it wasn't for the youth ministry, I probably wouldn't be a Catholic today. Um, it was because a friend <laughs> um, introduced me to the youth ministry and um, through that I was like, inspired to like get baptized like Catholic. It helped me realize that no matter like any, any any of the struggles and any of the weaknesses I have, that my identity is not rooted in my weaknesses, but rather my identity is rooted in Christ. That's one thing that I've really noticed that has helped me a lot in the youth ministry is that finding people who are actually trying to be saints. Teens need intentional Catholic adult mentors invested in journeying with them to help navigate their questions and experiences of faith. Working with teenagers calls us adults to be convicted by our faith, to be courageous, um, to be authentic um, for, for the teens so they can also model that as well. These kids are thirsting for that kind of influence that isn't out there. Not only has participating in youth ministry helped, I think, these teens grow, but it's helped me grow as well as a Catholic in, in knowing who the person of Christ is. There's no teen who isn't appreciative of your time, and so even if you don't feel like you have a lot to offer, know that to the teen, it's invaluable. When you see your kids enjoy something so much that they want to then be a part of it and help other kids, super reward. I can never thank those leaders and the clergy enough for what they have done for my children in transforming their faith and their lives in a fun-filled way. So my priesthood has been impacted by uh, EDGE, by uh, Life Team, by uh, camp, and by youth ministry, because I've been called to be a better priest. I think the most important thing in youth ministry is that it's relational, not just event-based, not just camp and fun activities. It's a, a, an enjoyable and engaging opportunity for me to get to know, to love, and to serve these young people, which is really uh, the purpose of any priest, to know, to love, and to serve the people that he ministers with.